how he has healed me from situations that I put myself in. She's gonna have to have surgery. So this one is mahogany vanilla. I'm not even gonna say I'm stressed. Grace and peace, everybody. Praying all is well with all of you. Welcome back to another vlog. A few vlogs ago, I talked to you guys about the Blue Lynn products and I figured I would do a quick update on how I've been enjoying them. Thank you to Blue Lynn for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Blue Lynn was so kind to send me over their laundry detergent tablet as well as their hand foaming soap. They sent over the tablets and the bottles. So Blue Lynn provides eco-friendly products where they are effective, they are affordable, they're reusable. I love their products because one, not only do they smell good and they are good for the environment and the earth. They come in so many different fragrances. So these will go into the hand foaming uh, soap. Um, but the one I have been using is the lavender and eucalyptus. That one smells so good. I put that one in my guest bathroom as I showed you guys before. And then of course I have one here in the kitchen. It's what I have been using. And of course when it runs out, you just fill it up to the black line and then you put another tablet in. Also with washing the clothes, they do really, really well in the washing machine. Y'all, I wish I could smell this. So even with unboxing, everything that comes in that package I can use. They also give you this laundry detergent tablet container. Of course, you can reuse that. So outside of these, so they also have so many more products. So outside of the laundry detergent tablets and the hand foaming soap with the dispensers, they also provide multi-surface cleaners, glass and mirror cleaners, dish soap, dishwasher tablets, and so many other things. Definitely make sure you guys check out the QR code here or check out the link down below in the description box. And when you use my QR code or click the link down below, you will get 15% off your first kit. But this is just what I've been using in the house. I love the way it smells, I love the way it feels on my hands, and obviously we love that it's not gonna take up so much space. We can reuse things, it's good for the environment, it's good for the earth. The messaging and everything behind the brand is really, really beautiful, so they have that on the website as well. So yeah, again, if you are interested in Blue Land products and wanna try them out for yourself, please use my QR code and check out the links down below to learn more about Blue Land products and to get 50% off your first kit. And again, thank you so much Blue Land for sponsoring this portion of today's video. So let's get into today's vlog. Grace and peace and good morning, everybody. Praying all is well with all of you today is is Saturday <sighs> and it is time to just wind the freak down from the week y'all oh my goodness I don't know about y'all but I had did some like little house shopping and I ended up getting me a bunch of like wall plugs like listen I love me some candles but I'm not even gonna say what I'm gonna say just know <laughs> These are a little safer. So, <laughs> I got Clean House Vibes. I got Palo Santo and Sage, which this one is my favorite like candle scent. I don't even think it's focusing. But this is like my favorite candle scent. I got Fresh Sheets. And then I got Marshmallow Fireside. Marshmallow Fireside is my newest one. And it smells so, so good. Um, I ended up getting coffee and whiskey as well, and I just put that one in my room. I love the way that smells, and I'm currently burning the candle um, from Bath and Body. So it is definitely the time of the season or the time of the year where like things are changing. Literally, Sunny and I were on the phone, and um, she was near like somewhere where they had a bunch of trees, and she was like, "Oh my gosh, look! Like they have a bunch of um, what's it called? Like the leaves are changing." So she was showing me how the leaves were changing wherever she was at. And I was like, see, yes, it is that time of the year. Leaves are changing, but fall, like. But this is another Bath and Body bag that I had. Actually, the receipt is still in here. Let's see when I bought this stuff. 413.24. Hadn't even touched these, but I know they had a sale on all of like their um, house sprays. Now I'm not gonna hold you. One of these is getting ready to go in my car because I had I had my car spray that I just love that I always use. But I think during like the hotter portion of the season, I don't know if it like got rid of like the scent. But anytime I spray it now, it's just not as strong. It's not strong at all. So this one is mahogany vanilla, and this smells oh, this smells so good. So I have this one. Y'all already know my favorite, mahogany coconut. And shout out to Rochelle. Hey Rochelle, she got me a bunch during when we went to Costa Rica. She got me a bunch of those. So I still have a handful of those that I'm gonna use. Um, another Palo Santo. That mahogany coconut, baby. Now I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if I wanna smell the mahogany coconut every time I get in my car. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna take the Palo Santo. Palo Santo might be the one 
to put in my car. So anyway, I gotta go down there anyway. But I have all of my wall plug-ins. So I just literally keep everything in here because why not? So I don't have any candles at the moment. I will outside of the coffee and whiskey one that I have, but that's, I've been burning that one. So I'm down to my last candle. But let me know what candles you guys are burning currently. Like what scents are y'all putting in your house right now, especially for the season change. I'm so excited for fall, man. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm not gonna lie. I told you guys like before I moved that the Lord has me on this thing where I'm not buying a bunch of home decor. Do y'all know how much money I have saved? Um, so it hasn't been a lot of Target runs. I was literally telling y'all in my last vlog how in Target, it, well on the Target app, it was telling me that I saved $82 for the year. Do you know, if that is all I saved, I haven't spent much with Target. Usually it would tell me I've saved 300, I've saved, $82 is all I have saved. So with that being said, I'm doing good. Target is not getting a lot of my money. <sighs> I got some bills I have laid out that I need to tackle. But I'm feeling good, looking good. I am good. Um, I went to a dinner last night and it kind of messed up my hair just a little bit, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's okay. Um, but I'm actually getting ready to run out in a little bit because I need to give me something to eat. Actually, I can put these bills over here. Well, these aren't even bills. This is just my credit card statement which that bill has been paid. Y'all know how they have the no spend no November? Is it no spend November or is it no shave November? I don't care. I might go on a no spend November. Yeah, I'm about to run out and go get me. That sounds ridiculous. Grace and peace everybody. Today is Sunday and I am <sighs> watching church online. I was actually getting dressed to go and then I changed my mind, which is not important as to why I changed my mind. But I wanted to talk about, well, on, I'm gonna talk about on there as if it's not the TV, on the TV. Um, but my pastor said, and I just felt like this would reach somebody or this would help somebody. My pastor said, I was in a dark place, but God was not intimidated by my cave. And then he said, which really blew my mind, then he said, sometimes we get a little boastful when we talk as if like we chase after God and as if it's because of our efforts, it's because of our consistency with chasing after him is, is, is why we're as close as we are to the Lord or it is why he shows up the way he does for us when absolutely not. Like it's actually the complete opposite. It's because of God's consistency, it's because of God's persistence in loving us and caring for us and chasing literally after us is why we are where we are with the Lord. Let's look at what Jesus did. We can talk about that all day long. Let's literally look at what Jesus did. Jesus died on the cross. Jesus had his uh, his moments of weakness where he was like, could this cup pass from me? You know, can there be another way? But God still persevered through those trials to still show up for us, to still love us. So on this beautiful Sunday, I just wanted to say, yeah, let's not get boastful. Let's not like, I know sometimes we can say like, oh yeah, I'm consistent with reading my word. I'm doing this and I'm doing that. But like, let's not forget it is truly because of Jesus as to why we are saved and that we are where we are today. And it is truly not by any efforts that we have put in. Like sure, yes, to, to uphold our part, yes, we have to put in that work. But when anytime I think about the Lord coming after me, how many times I heard him and I didn't respond, how many times that he called on me and I ignored him, how many times he got me out of a situation that I put myself in, how he has healed me from situations that I put myself in when he warned me and I did not listen, how how many times he literally reached down, grabbed me by grabbed me by my clothes and said, get up and let's go. And it's because of that as to why I know I'm here today. So I just wanted to take this time, of course, to reference my father, our father, our God, our King, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If you are new to my channel, hello. We believe in the Lord Jesus Christ over here. We believe in the resurrection. We believe that he is returning. I just wanted to share that because my pastor is speaking some good stuff. Um, heat me up some food because my stomach was starting to hurt. Um, but I was gonna heat me up some food, but I wanted to share that with y'all. Excuse me, I wanted to share that with you guys as I was um, getting my stuff together. And it's just, I'm gonna tell y'all like this. I know me, for example, I am not, I don't do everything I'm supposed to do. And sometimes even with talking about that, it almost seems like, huh, here we go. Like, what do you mean you're not doing what you're supposed to do? You like, at some point, when are you gonna be doing what you're supposed, what you supposed to do? Because of that, it makes me feel so bad sometimes, because I'm like, God, at what point are we really going to just get it together? But he just reminds me of, not that it's, that it's an excuse, but it truly just reminds me of God's love and our weakness and as to why we need him. We will always need him. So if we always had it together, if we were always perfect, we were always on point, if we never dealt with anything, if we never had issues, if we never had trials, 
if we never had challenges, if everything always goes how we want it to go, we would never call on him. We would never look for him for anything. We might look to him and say, oh, thank you, Jesus. But at that point, over time, we if, if you're not even connected to him, you won't even think about him. You would think you've done all these things off of the strength of you, off of your ideas, your power, your mind, your whatever. And God truly deserves all the glory, honor, and praise for that. So that being said, yeah. <laughs> yeah guys, it is, now the day you guys see this video, I don't know what date it'll be, but I know that today, I know that today is September 1st, and with it being September 1st, which means it's a brand new month, which means, yeah, it's a brand new month. The fact that we are in September is crazy. The fact that I've almost lived here a year is crazy. It doesn't feel like it whatsoever. Um, and I could go all day long about what I feel like I've done well or what I haven't done well. I know a lot of things. There are a few things which I'm gonna keep to myself. <laughs> <laughs> that I just have not done that well with and I'm kind of side eyeing myself but it's okay because I have still done well in that same area within so many ways like I will say this year I've kind of dealt with like procrastination a little bit they're just trying to fight through feeling worthy and just knowing that I am who God says I am and just try not to deal with the feelings of that so much and I don't know about you guys but I just be feeling like at some point like when is that feeling going to be gone because I'm tired of dealing with like those kind of thoughts but again it's just something I have to continuously take captive and just believe the Lord to help me through that but um but anyway so I'm not rambling I want to show you guys a couple of new things that I got I've been showing you guys like new purchases purchases that I have um I'll move it up I'll move all the links up like in my description box but the link is there it's like one link and it's linked to my LTK and in my LTK is where like all of my links are. and if there isn't something that I can't link I'll just have a separate link underneath it so even the things that I show you guys here which I'll do a little bit better of a job because I notice sometimes I'll just copy and paste my description box and I'll change it according to like what I bought or you know like my description box is pretty much the same all the time but I will make it better so that way it's easier to find because I find that people are still asking for like links that I did leave and it's like well maybe they just can't find it so I'm gonna make it easier I got you I bought these ca these two cases and these are from my content phone so it's a bigger phone um but I bought these and I also bought a pop socket to match because let me show you what I want to do okay so for example I have so this is my content phone so this is my phone so it's a this is the 15 pro and then this is the 15 pro max so i bought this from the top of the year just for content purposes so anyway this is kind of like the vibe i want to go for so this one is all black and then i have an all black pop socket so then i have this red one and then i bought a red pop socket because i wanted to just kind of mesh well together like this they all be color coordinated and then i bought this one now I had to search a little bit for this kind of color so i did buy one that supposedly looks like this i hope it's gonna match i really hope because i feel like that between this this like muted blue and outside of patterns like cheetah, zebra, stuff like that. I'm just feeling like this red and that blue I was talking about. I just feel like it's going to be my go-to colors this season for uh, for the fall. So, but let me show you guys. But this is the pop socket. So I'm hoping it'll blend. I'm hoping. And it's showing up a lot brighter on the camera than it is in person. So I mean, from what I can tell right here, it looks like it'll be a pretty good match. But of course, we will see when it gets here. It should be here on, I don't know why it's gonna take so long to get here, but it won't be here till Thursday of next week. And then of course, I got a red one. But as of right now, I have the black one on there. Black is just a go-to, so that's what I have. But anyway, I had some leftover Thai food. I'm not gonna hold you, I've been beating myself up this entire year because I truly haven't been in the gym like I once was. You guys know I was in the gym every single day. I have not been in the gym like that. Have I been maintaining my weight? Surprisingly, yes, but um, I haven't been like as lean as I wanna be. I can tell I'm definitely soft. I was doing push-ups the other day. Those arms was a little, little shaky. I can do my push-ups still. It was a little shaky. And it just made me feel so bad. I'm like, what in the world is wrong with me? But again, I've been hard on myself. I have been just a lot of things, so. But I am working on doing this whole thing where it's like I don't, just being nicer to myself. So that's what I'm doing. And I don't know. I don't like being mean to myself because I like to think of it like this. The way I treat myself, if someone else was to say it to me, they would truly get laid out in Jesus' name, like, <laughs> hear me. I think that just goes to show like, 
how someone can talk to their self. And it's like, oh, it's okay if you talk to yourself like that. But if someone else was to say it, then it'd be a problem. Well, it should be a problem whether you say it or someone else says it. So that's how I'm looking at it. So anytime I'm hard on myself, I try to hear it in like somebody else's voice. And hearing it in someone else's voice is crazy. Cause it's like, who are you talking to? <laughs> Why would you say that to me? So then why would you say that to yourself? I will link those phone cases down below, including the black one. And the other thing that I bought, ooh, the other thing I bought was these Miu Miu sunglasses. I don't know why my joint is not, like it's just not focusing. I don't know why, it's being mean. <laughs> Um, but I bought these Miu Miu sunglasses. Now I have my prescription glasses on, so when I do this, I'm gonna be able to see. But these were on sale and I got them from Sunglass Hut. Like, look how cute. I love like this little point. Man, I wish I could see. I love this little point. Obviously they're tortoise, so which is my favorite, but I love this little point that they come to. And I'm still looking for a specific pair of sunglasses that I can't find, but they do give a little more summary, so I'm not pressed for them, but if I find them, I find them. If I don't, I don't, but these, like I said, these were on sale with Sunglass Hut, so I'll link these down below. And what happened was I found them in the middle of the night. This is what happens when you're shopping in the middle of the night, you should be asleep. But I was online and I came across these sunglasses. I was like, oh, those are so cute. I was even using like the virtual try on haul, which was so embarrassing. So then Sunny and I ended up going to the mall and they had a sunglass hut and they just so happened to have a pair in there. And they crossed, what happened, what is, what is it called? They price matched it for me. So they gave me what the online deal was. But yeah, <clears throat> I'm gonna go finish watching service. I just wanted to chat with y'all a little bit and let y'all know what I had just heard because I definitely did not want to forget it. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna go finish service. I'm gonna finish my little Thai food. And then I'm shooting a campaign today. Ooh, ooh. That's exciting. Um, so I'm gonna see how that is, see what I wanna do with that. Well, I mean, I already know what I'm gonna do with it. It's just try to get it everything set up. Outside looks pretty nice. So hopefully we'll keep some consistent sunlight. Yeah. I will check back in with you guys a little bit later. BRB. These are kind of cute. I like these. What's <laughs> You're annoying. I wish the they had a thicker sole like on the bottom. I think those would be cute. They don't have nothing. This one or this one. This one's cute. Little dark, little dark brown moment. Little chocolate. I have to say the material is funny. I don't need it though. I don't need it. Yeah, we have come into a DSW. I'm trying to find some boots. This is the second time I've seen these Birkenstocks. These are cute. I'm gonna try these on. You said what? Like this is such a nice color for the fall and stuff. And then, they're kind of expensive, but I think these are really, really cute. I just like that they have, they just feel really sturdy. Let me show y'all in the mirror. They just feel very, very, very sturdy. Whatever size I got on right now feels pretty good. See? I like those. so embarrassing how stuff keeps happening to me y'all i recorded on my other camera the slow-mo feature was on so i'm gonna just voice over all that i got when i went shopping today so i was just showing y'all my nails and you know how i'm getting them done and i thought about soaking them off with some acetone but i went and got these tate's cookies y'all these cookies are so good some of my favorite cookies are snickerdoodle and i was trying to see if these were like a little healthier option but they were pretty good like i actually like them but then i was talking about like my period cravings and i love the mini m ms they have to be the mini m ms and then i got some gushers this candle was from anthropology which smelled really good embarrassing then i got these three little nike tops they're like 
workout tops. These are so great. I want to link these for you guys so y'all can get your hands on them. They're amazing. Then I finally got these Nike red Romeros that I have been looking for and they were on sale. So I was happy. And then I got this super cute planner because I wanted to start planning out some other content and just really put my foot on the gas for the remainder of this year. Then I did end up going with those Birkenstocks that I found. I actually got these out of DSW, but this was like my second time seeing these. And I was like, I need those for the fall. They are the cutest. Birkenstock. Then I already have a black one of this, but I got this from Nordstrom and it's from a brand called Zella. And the black one I'm obsessed with and I had no idea they had a green color. So I grabbed that one. I got me a battery pack from the Apple store. This is not the Apple brand one. This is the Belkin. Cause I've just been hearing bad things about the Apple one. So I was trying this one out and it's cheaper. Got me some Cora pads. If you guys haven't tried Cora, Cora is really great. Been loving them down. And I got these other tanks from Target that are really comfortable. And y'all, as an update, I have been living in these things. And again, all of this stuff will be linked down below and I'll make sure to kind of put it either in order or just have it labeled really well so you guys can find it. I also got these two brown lip pencils from Target because I have been trying to find a new like lip combo, which update on that too. I have seemingly found it. So check out my TikTok. And I got this really cute gray robe that y'all are gonna see all fall long because this joint is so soft and it's nice and it's from Target and it was worth every Dollar. And then that was pretty much it in terms of like my haul. Like I was so blown when I was going to edit y'all and to find out all this was in slow-mo. I am so sorry. But anyway, let's get back to the normal. Grace and peace and good morning, everybody. Today is Wednesday, September the 4th. And today we have a lot to do. We have Avery's vet appointment. This is actually her first vet appointment all year. I know, I know, I know. But she has been up to date on her vaccines and everything. Her vaccine actually runs out in November because... You know, I got her caught up and everything before we moved. So, um, yeah, I'm taking her to the vet today because I want her just to get like a good physical exam just to make sure everything is good. She hasn't been acting like anything is bothering her, but I think it's just good to check up anyway. And I really want to check up on her teeth. She eats a lot of soft food. Um, she eats, <clears throat> her treats are pretty hard, but they're not, they're like the softy hard. And then her other food is like the regular hard dog food. But her breath, <laughs> and this is not to play my baby. I love her to death, but her breath, is funky. I just, I personally think it's just her food. Like anytime I take her to the groomers, I always ask them to like brush her teeth. And from what I have checked and from what they have said and have charged me for, her teeth has always been brushed for the most part, not on a consistent basis, but every time she goes to the groomers, her breath is just like really bad. So I'm gonna find out if there is an issue. I just don't want it to be a situation where it's like something bad or she has a broken tooth or just something crazy going on in there. Um, and if it's not, I'm praying that it's nothing bad. I think, I truly think it's just her food. Her food stinks, so. But she loves it. I just deal with it because that's what the, you know, that's the food that she likes. And if that makes her breath stink, then oh well. Whatever. So we have that today. I have to actually go pick up Sunny in a little bit. I'm dropping her off at the airport. She is going to New York. <laughs> She's going to New York today. Um, I'm gonna be babysitting for her, how she had babysat for me. And um, I get to keep Koopy Boy for the rest of the week, just about. She comes back on Friday. <sighs> Take your time. I'm about to go pick her up in a little bit, get Koopy Boy, and then when I get back, I have some stuff to do for work, so the pups will just chill um, while I try to get some work done before Avery's appointment. Then I'm gonna have to leave Cooper here and take Avery on to the vet. And then hopefully we won't be there all day. Hopefully maybe an hour or two. Or maybe a thing of where I need to just drop her off and then come back, I don't know, so we'll see. Um, so that's pretty much on the agenda. So work, airport, get Cooper, um, the vet. So yeah, today's gonna be pretty busy. We'll be definitely gonna be moving and grooving. Um, I just did my makeup because when I get back from um, getting Cooper and dropping off Sunny, I just wanted to go ahead and just kind of jump into work when I got back. I didn't wanna have to like take the time to do my face. So I already did my face. I've been up pretty early reading and just kind of get my mind right. And then I went ahead and did my makeup. Cameras are charged, everything is ready to go. So just because I have like that crunch time in between me having to take Avery to the vet. So I'm like, let me make sure I got all my stuff so we can just kind of hop into work and then go on about the rest of our day. Anyway. Before I move on, it is, I told her I'd pick her up at 10. It is 9.43, but y'all already know, me and Sunny live like two seconds from each other, so. What's so funny, y'all, is that I recorded, let me make sure it's not on there. I have recorded a whole like shopping haul. I had bought, a, it's not a lot of stuff. I had just bought a few new things and I was showing y'all and it was probably like 20 to 30 minutes of footage. Do y'all know I recorded in slow motion? So this is me in a way starting over. Like I'm not doing the whole thing over, but I did want to show y'all what I had got because I was just trying to put y'all on some new stuff that I had gotten. So one of the items that I had got are these Nike Vomeros and I 
I haven't owned a pair of these and I always loved how these shoes look and I saw these red ones. It's red and like this purple burgundy and silver. Now, I'm not a silver girl, but these with the red, like I'm in my red phase right now. I love these shoes. I think I might put them on right now. Um, But they, have, they were on sale and we had went to the Nike store and they were on sale and I was like, ooh, I like those. Okay, cool. But then Nike also had these little tanks. I think I'm gonna put, um, actually, I think I'm gonna put the white one on today. But these little tanks I got for the gym, obviously, but if y'all could just feel the material, I will link them all. Um, if y'all could just feel the material, they are just like so stretchy. There's some compression in there, which I love. Yeah, I have to say they have more colors, but in that particular Nike store I went to, they just had the black, um, they had white, and then they had like this peachy color. I thought the peach was pretty. Um, but I think I'm gonna put on the white today. Um, so I'm gonna put my clothes on and then I can show y'all like my full little going out outfit because I do need to hear you because I'm pretty sure Sunday's gonna be ready in a little bit, so BRB. Okay, so this is the top and it's super cute. Y'all, look what is happening to my back. I get, when I say I get terrible back acne, there are some seasons where it like acts up really, really, really bad. And then there are moments where, majority of the time it's not this bad, but right now for some reason it's bad. Like breakouts, the breakouts that I have on it, they hurt, it's just, it's just a mess. But anyway, we're gonna do the red Bomeros. They are so cute and they're very comfortable. Like I said, I never had a pair of Bomeros, so I was really happy I had found a pair I like. Um, that particular store had a few colors. They had like a pink, purple, I think that Sunny was looking at. <sighs> but of course, like some places got your size, some places just dump. So, that's cute. And then I have on, maybe y'all can see, but then I have on my favorite sweatpants. I'm sorry y'all, I do not have a link for these sweatpants right now. I bought these while I was in New York and they're from Anthropology, and I thought that they would be posting these joints up online. When I say they are nowhere to be found online, but they're super wide leg, like they're the most fire pants. Uh, y'all know I love wide leg stuff, so I just, I don't know, but they're really cool and I have no idea why they're not online. I don't know, but anyway. If for some magic reason that there I have a link, I'll put it on the screen so y'all will know to go grab them before they are gone. Anyway, shout out to Finery. They sent me, which I was showing you guys in my last vlog, I think they sent me over a bunch of perfume. And I just tried this one, it's called the New Rose. I say this is added to my fall scent collection. Like, yes, yes, yes. It smells, it smells, <coughs> it smells so good. I gotta take a picture of this. It smells incredible, y'all. It smells so dag on good. Whew, let me put a little bit of little bit of lotion on. I have this body um, body mask that I've been using from Natrium. You can get this stuff from Target. Um, I've been using that on my back. It's like a body mask. You let it sit on there and then it'll exfoliate your skin. So I've been using that a little bit. When I say this side of my back, it's perfectly fine. Like no, no bumps, no nothing. This side, I have about four big nasty bumps. Like I don't understand, but whatever. My hair is getting to that point where it needs to be done, but I am at that phase where it's like freshly stiff, so I can still get away with it. But yeah, I will be needing to do my hair. I will be needing to do my hair soon and very soon. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, and I'm over here getting dressed up, not dressed up, but just all the way together, just to take Sunny to the airport. But I look good and I feel good, and honestly, I didn't have the best, best night last night. And this season, well this month, the season, this month of my cycle, TMI for any men who are here, sorry. Um, my cycle this month has just been terrible. Like, it has just been absolutely terrible. So I just feel yucky, I have felt a lot of things. And just imagine getting out of the shower, scrub your body down to white meat. You smelling good, all the things, and you still just feel nasty. Like, that is just such a sad situation. So, I'm happy to be on my way off of my cycle for this month. Get back to some level of normalcy because can't deal with. It. Anyway, I'm getting ready to leave. It is 9.53. Actually, let me make sure the girl is ready. Yeah, these are from Adira Eyewear. Uh-uh, what is on this one? These are from Adira Eyewear. I think these are the, one of the most fire pair of sunglasses I own. Like, these are just so cool. I feel, you know what I'm saying? And you got everything I need in there. I'm gonna put my glasses in a case real quick. Protect your frames, guys. Protect your frames. And that's my rule of thumb. I always have to carry my glasses, like my contact case with me because my eyes will, will 
be childish. My eyes will definitely be childish and try to get all blurry and carry on all that mess. But I'm really excited because one of my um in one of my last videos, y'all, my dad or microphone was acting berserk. Like I don't know what the heck was wrong with it, but it's an issue with it. Not dealing with it. I'm not even using a microphone right now and the sound doesn't even sound bad. Like the Sony, I have a Sony and the Sony camera picks up sound pretty well, I think. Now, I just bought a new mic and I'm really excited. It's supposed to be here today. So when I switch with, with slow down. Savannah, slow down. So when I switch to having the mic on, either y'all will be able to notice or I'll just tell y'all I'm using the mic and y'all let me know if there's a difference. And I'll make note of it on the screen when I'm using the new microphone. But I'm really excited about it. My girl is ready, so let's go pick up Sunny. BRB. Say bye bye to your mommy, Gooby. No, uh, look at him. Don't you jump out the window. Oh. Hello, guys. I am back home. Y'all can see. Look how big. It's not even that. It's just this big bump right here. It's like everything around it is so. Look at that. It's just like. I ain't never had a bump that big on my head. What in the world? Anyway, I was looking for my glasses, but um, I have to get ready to do a few things on the computer real quick, and then I have to take Avery to the vet. She has a vet appointment today, so that is at 2.30, so I have about an hour, a little less than an hour, to do some work stuff. Do some work stuff, so we're gonna do that. I don't know what I do with my glasses, but I can't see him because he literally is blending in with the couch, but he's right there, and then Avery is right there. Very, very much excited. My microphone is not here yet. I have been checking just about every 30 minutes because it says it's out for delivery, and my Amazon people, I'm saying my Amazon people, like, I just got my personal Amazon delivery. The Amazon guys, they usually come around on a certain time and right now is about that time it would be here <sighs> says it's out for delivery it says it should be here between three and five whatever anyway can't stop the plan so i just got back from taking avery to the vet she's gonna have to have surgery possibly and i say possibly because um once she gets her x-rays done and it'll be like a dental surgery once she gets her x-rays done um we'll be able to see if she'll actually need like a tooth extraction so it's kind of like a waiting game right now and a long waiting game because this won't happen until october because they have no availability in september <sighs> hate that so much but it's i'm really sad i got some mom guilt right now because when i would take her to the groomers I would let them brush her teeth and I would pay for that service and it just kind of seems like that service really wasn't getting, it just kind of seems like that service wasn't necessarily getting done and I'm not, I'm not blaming the other grooming services, I'm not doing that, I just, I've always had a hard time trying to brush her teeth at home so in my mind I'm like well y'all might have different tools, y'all might have different things that y'all can use to like help the dog, you know, when doing that on them and stuff. I just feel like <laughs> it's just not. I don't know. I'm a little down about it, but she will have to have um, some kind of procedure done. Either way, she's gonna have to be put under anesthesia, whether it's for a deep cleaning or it's for a tooth extraction. And I'm really sad if it's gonna have to be a tooth extraction because it's just not what I want for her at all. So I am a little sad about that. I feel like I have been failing my dog. So yeah, I had to stop recording because <sighs> I was just feeling so bad. I'm not even gonna hold you. But anyway, she's fine. Like she's doing okay. She did really, really well at the vet, which I was very happy about because I was just a little nervous about them like trying to get into her mouth. Cause she, when I say Avery don't like that, she not with it. Get off of me. Hey, Goopy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, what did you win? This is a sweet big boy. Don't wipe your eye boogers on me. He love wiping them, look, love wiping them funky eye boogers on somebody. Stop. Wipe it on yourself. <laughs> wipe it on yourself, big boy. Oh, hi, right, buddy. Hi, right, buddy. Hi, right, buddy. Oh. But yeah, he, um, Cooper been sleep. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, I just kind of felt like a bad dog mom. Come here, baby. I just kind of feel like a bad dog mom. Like I take care of my baby girl, but maybe not enough or something. I don't know, I just feel bad, so. Just so I'm clear, it's not official that she will have to have surgery, but she does have a set surgery day appointment. Um, and on that day, she's going to get an exam and that exam will determine 
if she will need actual teeth extractions. But either way, she will have to go under anesthesia for her deep teeth cleaning because she already know she ain't gonna let them do it while she up. And they said it's not good for them anyway to have them awake doing that um, because that can just stress them out and just bring along more issues. So it's just better to like put, let them take a little nap, get up in that grill, get into it, wake them up. So she has a set date for that, which is in October. Everything else checked out. And she's getting some blood work done just to further check and make sure she's good, but everything is good. And honey, they trying to get her down for another surgery that she don't need right now. Y'all just some money hungry doctors. She does not need all of that stuff. She is also y'all, my girl is gaining some weight. I'm happy about it. She is 5.5 pounds. For a minute, she was like 4.6. Like every single time I would take her to the vet, she was always 4.6, 4.5, 4. something. She was never fully five pounds. My girl is 5.5 pounds, so she is eating good. Freddie Jean. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank you guys for watching. I know these vlogs have been a teeny, teeny bit shorter, but again, I had told you guys some vlogs back. I was going to make them a little shorter just that way I can get more vlogs out because I'm busy, but I ain't that busy. I ain't that outside. I don't be doing that much. <laughs> so sometimes it's hard to get like hour long vlogs like I really like. And if they are hour long, half the time I'm just talking. But that is the surgery update. I am getting ready to end my work day and go get me some dinner. I'm thinking about going to my favorite ramen spot because I want some ramen. And like I told y'all, I have just been very like, like this cycle has really been doing a number on me this month. I don't know why, but I'm over it. Like I just, yeah. So anyway, I love you guys so much. So as always, if you're new, I'm Jay. If you're not new, I thank you so much for supporting me with whatever I do here with my channel. I love each and every one of you to know in. And of course, until next time, Lord willing, I will definitely see you all in my next video. Bye.